More debris from last week's tornadoes in Illinois. Well, it's showing up in Walworth, Racine, and Kenosha County. WISN 12's chief meteorologist Mark Baden found a personal banking check while golfing in Racine County. And 12 News Chris Glanier tracked down the owner in Rochelle, some 82 miles away. Open fields as far as the eye can see. After Thursday night's tornado managed to devastate this row of houses in Rochelle, Illinois, piles of rubble, which Becky Bailey says scattered for miles. There was a Bible found out here in this field that they trying to track it down. There's been records of families. She missed the twister, but her friend Dave Shabacker wasn't that lucky. His house and everything inside, including his bank checks, were taken by the storm. This is where that check originated, off of Highway 64 in Rochelle, a strip of about four ranch houses that were leveled, and it was found 82 miles away on Highway 20 in Racine County. Bailey was shocked by our find. That far, yes, that's quite a ways. We called Dave Shabacker, who's now living with family, and our call wasn't the first he's received. I found out somebody else found a credit card a ways away to the bar someplace. He's sure most of his belongings he'll never see again. But he's thankful his family survived, which, judging by what's left, wasn't an easy task. We actually uh, got about a 12-minute warning that it was coming, and uh, my cousin uh, texted me a picture of it coming our way and warned us that it was coming our way. So we actually got up to the window there and looked at it. We could see it coming. As far as the check, they stopped using that bank back in 1998. In Rochelle, meteorologist Chris Gloninger, WISN 12 News. Well, two local Red Cross volunteers are in Illinois right now. They're helping with recovery efforts in some of the hardest hit neighborhoods there from that tornado. And the Red Cross says that they're bringing food and water and other supplies needed to even clean up. Both of the volunteers say they've seen the devastation and they're ready to get to work. It's a blessing. Uh, and it's a blessing for me and for us to, to be able to help. It's a little spooky. It's scary when you see people when they lose the things that they've lost. You can also help the tornado victims. The CEO of the local Red Cross says the best way is always just to donate money, blood, or becoming a volunteer yourself. We have a link for all that information on our website, WISN.com.